There is a lot that has changed. There is a lot. I made a video three months ago detailing that we were at 50%. We are now at 70% completed on the PC port. We are 30% of the way. With another 30%, I should say, we are going to have a fully completed CTR PC port. I have a lot to show you guys. I have a lot to show you guys. There is a lot of things that are looking a lot more like CTR than there were in the last video that was in January. First of all, these loading times are still insane. Check this out. Nuts. This screen, the character select screen works. The animations don't quite yet, but it works. As you can see, I am doing the thing. The animations aren't quite there yet. Some of the textures are a little bit off, but these are things that you come to expect from a game that is only 70% finished. Um, every character is there. Every character works. Um, obviously, I'm going to pick my boy. Here's something really, really fun, by the way. Really fun. When I pick this, right, it goes to this. Now, obviously, I can, I can select with my controller, but I can also type on my keyboard. I can type on my keyboard, and it works, which is really cool. Um, so I can just put in whatever. You know? Yeah, if I hit A, a good example of this is if I hit A and then like U, two letters that are completely on different ends to each other, I just go right, right to it. So I don't need to like scroll awkwardly. So that's sick. Uh, that's dope. Um, I can also hit escape apparently to back out. I haven't tried this yet, but I think you can. Yeah, you can. You can hit escape on the keyboard to back out. Just kind of hype. Just type that in again. Um, okay, and now time for adventure mode. Now, there hasn't been too much change with adventure mode yet, although there is a couple of huge differences that I'll explain right away. Again, this loading screen is great. Cutscene works. Cutscene works. No dialogue yet. Uh, and no wheels on Dingo's car, because um, they're p they are different sprites. Um, but Dingo is big chillin'. Uh, no driving yet, but he is in adventure mode. He is vibing. If you look at the minimap, it's actually turning with my camera. If you look at the minimap, Dingo's like icon is actually turning with where I go. Um... Which is pretty sick. Also, another thing that now works. The pause menu. The pause menu works. There's no, um, like, icons yet. But the pause menu fully works. It is working. And also, can I just say, 60 FPS menuing. It may be hard to notice it, but it is, like, butter. It is buttery smooth. Like, I'm not sure if you can, like, tell... It's, oh my god, dude. Okay, another thing about Adventure Mode that's different. Uka Hints work. Uka Hints work. Again, he's not appearing on the left, but there's the text. It's all there. It all works. Um, I dread to think how many hours of work this took, but... But... They're there, man. They're 70% through. The options menu does crash, so I can't I can't click the options menu yet, admittedly. Uh, this key still looks cool as hell. Um, but yeah, and... Um, this world... So, fun fact, and I, I said this last time, but in case you guys are wondering why can't you look at other worlds, um, as you can see, it's not loaded in, because um, Dingo is still in a in insanity beach but the moment that we can drive in the pc port i will be able to drive to different worlds and they will load once i can get there so the stuff past hub one is already done i just can't see it yet because i we can't drive yet 
But trust me, all of it's already done. Like, like Gemstone Valley is like, it's it's there, it's there, it's been done by the PC guys. Uh, pretty crazy, pretty crazy. And yeah, the, the the craziest part for sure is that we now have characters in the in the game. Uh, that's that's definitely the crazy part, I would say. He is slowly going up, by the way, and I'll explain that later on. He does slowly raise himself up, which is pretty fun. Um, but yeah, again, best loading screen ever. Man, loading screens being half a second is terrific. Um, so, I believe arcade mode still crashes. But actually, before I go into versus mode and show you guys some stuff in there, the high score menu works. And again, the menuing is just buttery smooth. Uh, the high score menu now works. That's a cool little thing. It's probably not something that interests a bunch of people, but it's just yet another step towards uh, towards the thing. Um, okay, yeah, before I show verses, I'm gonna show time trial because, and again, the character selection looks great. Um, all the characters appear just without the wheels. Um, I'll pick someone different, doesn't matter. Uh, I'll pick, I'll pick Coco. Um, I'm gonna go into, uh, a big track to show this off. Tiny Arena. And I want you guys to play, uh, to pay close attention. Because, obviously, last time I showed you guys this, the, the big update was basically how good all the graphics looked and how smooth it looked. And... That is still true. It still looks stunning. But there's going to be a big difference when I enter Tiny Arena. We have ghosts. The ghosts work. The ghosts work. I can follow Oxide all around. Now, admittedly, he does have Entropy's icon on the minimap. Uh, but uh, shut up. Ignore that. That'll be fixed. Um, yeah, Oxide be driving. Oxide do be driving. I'm trying to get, like, really close to him. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, dude. And uh, this works on um, pretty much every track. I haven't tested every track, but... Yeah, Oxide, Oxide is... He, he here, bro. He is here, and he is vibing. Wait, let me cut through the wall. Let me get a sick shot of him. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to be a cameraman. Hold on. I'm trying to be fucking Lakitu out here. Let, let, let me get a dope-ass shot. Let me, let, let me go to here. Here we go. Here we go. Here he comes. Dude. Dude! So sick. But yeah, um, so time trials work with with Oxide Ghosts. Um, I believe Entropy Ghosts are also done. Um, I believe, but um, but obviously Oxide is the ghost that appears right now. Um, and uh, yeah, let, let me. By the way, let me just just to show it off. Go back to the start line, and uh, Coco is still there. So w w once like we're able to drive, like the characters loading in works perfectly, which again is just is just absolutely terrific. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Now there is more. There is way more. Versus. Four player. Four player do be working. And by the time that the PC port fully rolls around, um, they will be able to do four player, but with one player graphics. So when I load in the slide coliseum here, obviously it, it, it looks like it does in four player with like the green skybox that so looks kind of ugly and uh, less detailed graphics, but still looks way better than it does on PS1 and runs at perfect 
FPS, unlike what it does on PS1 or PS2. Um, but when the PC port is 100% complete and it rolls around, um, it will look like it does in one player, but in four player. And at perfect FPS, which is just going to be, again, just absolutely freaking sweet. Um, and again, all, all the characters load in. Um, and he, I, I do got to say this. I feel like I got to say this. Even on four player graphics, this shit looks like infinitely better than it does on on a PS1 and PS2 and PS3. Like, infinitely better. Um, yeah, it will look like the multiplayer mod, correct. But, it will look like the multiplayer mod, but at 60 FPS or two, 240 FPS in, you know, widescreen, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's the idea of PC port. Um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully it will look like that, so... That's the idea there. Hopefully it'll look like that. Time will tell. But, um... Yeah, man. Pretty freaking sweet. By the way, we're not done. We're not done. You think we're done, we're not done. We also... Got battle mode. I'm gonna go in a three player just to show that three player also works. And uh, the menu looks freaking sick. For three player. Menu looks tight as hell. Um, yeah, many of you looking sick. Uh, I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick some different characters. I'm gonna pick Entropy. Fuck it. <clears throat> which, which battle map do you want to go to? I tested, um, I tested Rampage Ruins. I know Rampage Ruins works. But I've been told that pretty much all of them work, so. Dealer's Choice. Where do you guys want to go? North Bowl, Skull Rock, Nitro Court. Oh, I'll show, I'll show them all. Uh, or I'll show, like, a lot of them. Screw it. Screw it. Again, instant loading screen. Um, oh, yeah, dude, okay. <clears throat> I forgot to show you guys. Star boosts work. Driving doesn't work. Star boosts work. Look at Entropy right now. Look at him. Shit works, dude. Star boosts work, which is funny. But yeah, this is the battle map that you never see ever because there's no crystal challenge here. But uh, unless you played NF, which um, Nitro Fuel crystal challenges were, <clears throat> they were definitely there for sure. But yeah. Oh! Okay, I've just remembered another thing I need to show you guys uh, after the battle map stuff. I was going to make this the last thing I show you, but I actually need to show you guys another thing after this as well. Dude, there's so much to show you guys. It's crazy that, like, in the grand scheme of, of the PC port, they've updated 20% of it. But that 20% is, like, so much. It's it's crazy. Um, I'll show you guys another level. Show you guys another level real quick. I, I saw some people saying parking lot, so I'll show you guys parking lot real quick. Again, start boost work. Pretty awesome. Yeah, parking lot be here. Pretty freaking sweet. This looks amazing. I'll show you, I'll show you guys one more one player level because you gotta remember this is with less detailed graphics. <clears throat> because it's three player. This is less detailed graphics. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, re remembering that is, like, a big part of it. Just because, like, you know, this is going to look even better when the PC pool drops on multiplayer. Um, I'll quickly show you guys one more level um, that's not battle. And again, the loading screens being this quick is so sick. Um, <clears throat> I'll quickly show you guys one more time trial. I'll pick Penta this time. And um, let's go to Dragon Mines. Let's go to Dragon Mines. This is a pretty, pretty track. Again, the ghosts work, which is awesome. Off he goes. Um, but the detail in this looks so good. <clears throat> I mean, it's just like, 
I can't explain why it looks so vibrant. But like, th this yellow, that like, you never see when you're playing, or like, barely you ever see. Just looks so good. Like, the detail on this, again, that you never really see. Um, yeah, looks terrific. There, there goes my, there goes my boy. There goes my hero. Obviously, water is still not fully done yet, hence why it looks like this. <laughs> there goes my hero. He, he is going, to be fair. I'll show you what happens, by the way, when he completes three laps. Just for y'all that are interested to see what goes down. Just to show you guys what's up. Also, if you ever wondered where the minecarts go, um, let, let, let's let's follow this minecart. If you ever wondered where they go, um, they they do an ele uh, they they do a teleporting maneuver and teleport to down there, which is pretty great. They freaking skedaddle. <clears throat> so what happens when you finish a uh, time trial is. Uh, Oxide just fucking stops, dude. My man, my man just be stopping. Um, he just here now. Which is pretty, pretty great. Yeah, he's done. Yeah, the, the minecart's just entering, like, this, this teleport hole. Like, you, you'll see that it, it'll go in there and then come out here. Yeah, you see it? It's pretty great. Just straight up teleports. Um, one more thing. One more thing, and then we'll just mess around, and uh, I'll just uh, do whatever you guys ask. Um, but one more thing. I gotta say this, because it's really, really cool. Guys, give me a cheat code. Give me a cheat code, guys. Give me a cheat code. Ultra turbo pads? Alright, I'll do ultra turbo pads. Um, obviously I already have Penta, so I kind of can't uh, do that one. But um, if I want to do a cheat code, um, let's pick one that is quick to put in. Here we go. Cheat codes work. Cheat codes actually work. You you heard it. I just put in beakers and explosive crates only. I just put in that one. Um, I'll put in icy tracks. Circle triangle down, and you hear the click. So cheat code the, the code, the coding for cheat codes actually is there. Of course, we can't drive yet, um, so it's not like that's a thing. What I was inspired to demo. So when I was getting briefed about this PC port and what I can and can't do. That was literally my first question when I found out cheat codes were a thing. Uh, Spyro 2 demo does not work. <laughs> it's the only cheat code that doesn't work uh, for fairly obvious reasons. Um, for fairly obvious reasons. Um, uh, but, however, there, there is uh, one that we can do that Nico has just said, but I want to try now that he said it. And that is the scrapbook. Up twice, down, right twice, left, Right, trying to right. <laughs> and it crashed. <laughs> but yeah, that, that feels like a pretty uh, good place to end uh, the YouTube video portion of this. Um, I'm going to keep streaming this for the people that are here live, but um, yeah, this is uh, pretty gosh darn insane. Um, I gotta say that the fact that they've been able <clears throat> to do 20% of this, by the way, okay, I, I want to show you guys just before I, and I, I just want to show you guys how quickly I can get from the main menu to in a, in a adventure mode save. Anime. <laughs> That's so wild. That is so wild, dude.
That is so crazy. Uh, and I'm in. And I'm here. Um, yeah, the, the, everything about this, I just love it. Um, yeah, this is really exciting because the, the fact that they've been, they've been able to do 20% of the PC port in literally, what, three months since I last made the last video? Like, genuinely astounding. Like, it's, it's stunning that they've been able to do all of this so quickly. Absolutely incredible. Um, so yeah, bodes well for the future. Bodes very, very well for the future.